Next is Pro Stock, and that will be Jed Coughlin as he goes against the rookie, Shane Gray. Let's go to Gary. Andrew, you go to number one in terms of resetting the points going into the countdown to the championship. How significant is this win in that respect? I'll tell you what, Gary, this is a very significant win, but uh, nothing means more to me than to have a perfectly healthy son two weeks ago. Uh, you know, my wife did a great job. She, she cooked a good one is what we've been saying. Um, Declan Jeremy Hines, that's his name, and uh, this one's for him. You know, we bookended his birth. Won one before him, won one right after him. This one's for you, son. Hopefully someday you see this and be proud of your papa. But, whoa, number one in points. We've been eyeing that thing. Hector was tough all year long, but finally this V-Rod prevailed and we got some number ones. Well done. John Kernan? And Jed Coughlin's crew had to change the engine once again the second time today during eliminations. And the reason, I talked to Victor Cagnazzi, he said because they didn't like what they saw, so they just wanted to be safe. It took them 30 minutes to change that engine. Wow, 30 minutes. Well, Jed Coughlin looking for his fourth win here at Brainerd. There is Victor Cagnazzi, and there's Gray and Coughlin on the line. Oh, Shane goes red by one thousandth of a second. So, Jeggy's got that one. 61 with a 42804. He red lit. He went at 65. Great job, Jeg. Good job, you guys, man. What a hustle on that. That makes it that much sweeter. Good work, good work. And Dave Reef is now with Victor Cagnazzi. You know, Victor, congratulating everybody on the team. Victor, you changed motors heading into race day today. You were trying some things in qualifying that just didn't work out. Now, what happened right before the final? Well, we, you know, the, the, in the third round, we lost a little speed, and uh, we really just didn't want to take a chance, so we decided we had another engine on the bench, and, I mean, the guys really hustled. I, this team is something else. I mean... The, the way they hustled and got the thing done and turned around fast, and I just have to thank all our sponsors and, and all the associates at Jegs.com, and I'm just super excited. Low oil pressure, low vacuum. As this team carries all the momentum now to the Mac Tools, U.S. Nationals. So a uh, second engine change to a Wally, and we have now reset the points for the countdown easier. to one, and Woo! here is the way they look with Mike Edwards going to be out in front by 30 points. And you look down through the 10. That's the whole reset. Let's go to Gary Gerald now. Jeg, you talk about momentum going into the countdown of the championship. You tell us how important it is to have that, and do you, in fact, now have it? Well, you talk about momentum, uh, just our, our uh, day today. Uh, you know, we started the day with uh, a second engine in this car and uh, hurt the engine in the semi -fun. Didn't hurt the engine, but uh, saw some things we didn't like, and uh, that's probably our head honcho we want to go into the countdown with. So took no precaution and uh, put another engine in here for the final, and, and uh, yeah, I owe this all to the team, man. They thrashed extremely hard uh, this weekend. We've had a great rebound the last couple of weeks and uh, you know to win the Lucas Oil Nationals here in Brainerd again is uh, is just fantastic. Uh, I couldn't can't think of a better way to head into Indy. You know we've got the countdown to one. It's going to be exciting and uh, this Jake's car looks uh, looks pretty strong. This is his 52nd career win. One of those wins came a year ago at the U.S. Nationals. Well the fans can already smell the fumes of the nitro.